I am here with the lovely Kelly Dion. She's a spokesmodel and actress here in Arizona and in California as well. Right, right. Well, welcome. It's Thank a pleasure you. to have you here today. Thank you. It's good to be here today. You have been a busy lady out there. I have. I've been just incredibly busy, especially recovering from this whole COVID shutdown. So yes. it's just kind of... Yes. Yeah. yeah, I've been watching you and I've seen that you have um, a few projects that you're working on, right? right? That's one thing that I love about you. I mean, you're just going. You're just constantly, you're constantly <laughs> moving. And, and you know what? I love that because I'm that type of person. I My mom used to tell me, you need to rest some. I'm like, exactly. I have plenty of time to do that. <laughs> exactly. Everyone's always trying to hold you back or slow you down. You're like, I just, I don't have time. I, I have to keep going. I know. First, I'd like to ask you, Kelly, what inspired you to get into the modeling industry? Well, I started in the modeling industry when I was about 14 years old, when I started in uh, basically taking drama and theater classes in high school. Oh. And I started modeling for the bikini lines when I was 16. Oh. And it just kind of took it off from there. And I've modeled with some bigger names like Fredericks. I've done some promo work with Hollister. So there's been a number of different brands that I've worked with in oh. the years, Vidal Session. And I just kind of took it from there. And then you know, eventually you go into the spokesmodel work and you right. some commercials. And then you lean into uh, the film work or TV shows and also TV journalism. Mm, okay. So you had you a wild, wide variety wide of variety. work out there, which is awesome. Um, you've done a, quite a few endeavors since you've been in the industry. One Wait, of them. Pause. That is wild. Yes, it is. You've done a, quite a few endeavors out there in the industry, um, one being Miss Jet Set 2021. Right. Congratulations. Thank you. Tell us about Miss Jet Set 2021. Well, originally we started with the um, pageant and the owner of Jet Set Global Media said he wanted to choose somebody that he felt was setting a precedent for all women going forward. So they asked me to be the first queen for Miss Jet Set. Okay. And we pushed it from 2020, COVID. <laughs> to 2021 so right. um with that it's just basically holding the crown title and eventually hopefully with uh, 2022 rolling in we will hold an actual pageant and oh. we'll crown the next queen for miss jet set okay and, and explain what miss jet set means miss jet set means that um, basically we would be traveling all over just running one thing on the foot of another just one project right after another and setting that precedence for women in the industry where you don't have to take off your clothes for everything you uh -huh. don't have to uh, be pushed in a direction that you don't want to right. go in the industry and basically as a pageant queen you're really holding that precedence and that standard anyway and i and i love that as far as miss jet set and um is that a local company uh, arizona company uh jet set is a, an arizona company actually yeah so yeah. So um, your pageant queens, do you guys have platforms? My platform would be my own foundation, Raising Awareness. Oh. Um, so each queen going forward will have their own platform. Okay. Um, they don't need to have their own foundation, but they uh -huh. do need to have a platform. It's something they stand for uh -huh. and something they believe in. Okay. I love that. And when when the owner or founder of Miss Jet Set said that he want you to represent, I want to say the everyday woman, what did he mean by that? He wanted a woman that just basically represented a higher standard in the industry. Um, somebody who comes from a, a background of etiquette, a background of holding yourself together, of understanding what it means to basically hold your head high and keep that crown straight no matter mm -hmm. what's happening in your life. Oh, okay. Okay. And yeah, that's, that's a huge presence out there. Mm -hmm. And you know what? That is something that we try to teach our young ladies in the industry. Absolutely. I mean, whether um, modeling or fashion, acting, 
that is something that I mean we should actually be teaching our women all the time, no matter what they're doing. Act like a lady, hold your composure, and know how to present yourself in every situation. Right, right. That just should be the norm. It should what? be. The norm 101. <laughs> Seems to be missing in today's society, unfortunately. Well, that's because we, because of the social media, right. there's so much out there, um, so much exposure out there for young ladies to pick up things. That, I mean, it's, it's all about attention. Yeah, just it, so much has become normal so far as what was once considered indecency mm. is considered common and normal and commonplace in today's right. world. But it doesn't have to be. That's true. That's true. And, and that is one thing when I said model 101, we're lacking that in the right. modeling industry. I mean, as far as you mentioned, um, um, modeling in bathing suits, there used to be a way that you would model in a bathing suit. Exactly. That's gone. It is gone. That is way gone. It is so gone. modeling 101 needs to be reinforced. It does. I mean, so I think some of these these uh, photos from, you know, even in the 80s or the 90s, we need to bring back that mm. that stature and that pose, those positions. Right. And, and when you are in a bikini, you need to present yourself properly. You're selling right. the bikini, not what's behind the bikini. Right. I, I want to go back to what you were saying, representing the um, the everyday woman, a woman with etiquette. Um, what advice would you give? And I like to ask this about giving advice to mature women because we're that we're mature women. What advice would you give to a mature woman that wants to get into the industry at this stage in their life? I would say know yourself well enough to know what works for you. Um, don't be pushed in a direction that you're not comfortable with and and just identify yourself with the role that you're basically fit for mm. so do you um do you see that with women um mature women that are getting into the industry not knowing how to fit in or um how to handle themselves i should say um you do see it but a lot of most people don't realize that when you look at an ad and you see someone in the ad that's maybe older or someone mm -hmm. in the ad that's younger or a senior citizen, all of those people come from somewhere. Yeah. They all have a walk of life and yes. there is a call for everyone. There is a job for everyone. Right. There's an opportunity for everyone. That is true. And I always love to use Betty White as an example. Absolutely. I mean, she's Fabulous. of age and she's still out there doing it. She is. And, and she's, she's doing a great job. And she, yes, because there's a role for Betty White right. to play someone's grandmother, great grandmother. There's a role for everyone. There is. And, and as you stated, look at television or absolutely Netflix or whatever you're watching, and you will see some of everyone out there. Absolutely, absolutely. You you have been doing the modeling for how long now, Kelly? Years, God, years and years. <laughs> so. What would you say to that young Kelly right now? If I can look back and re-advise myself, I would say to have more confidence in everything you do. Because I look back at some opportunities that uh -huh. I didn't really have the confidence that I needed at that time to be successful. Right. And had I pursued it at uh -huh. that age, God only knows where I would be. Mm -hmm. But I think, you know, it's be but be be wise, be instructed. I didn't really have a lot of support in right. the industry when I was right. younger, so I said I'm just gonna go do it anyway. Um, so okay. it's pretty much on my own out there for the most part. Yeah. And that happens quite often. It does happen. Quite and, often. and and as one of our other guests were stating, we were talking about the modeling industry, is that they didn't have the parents to train them. The parents weren't trained. And they didn't know. A lot of times, parents they just don't know. That's and, true. And, and they're the children are maybe meeting someone at school, a, a agent or someone, and they're advising the child mm -hmm. instead of speaking with the parents with mom and, dad. and advising them. And that happens quite often. And and not just in the model in the in the music industry. Absolutely. Not just Absolutely. the modeling agent industry. The music, the film. A lot of times we're dealing with children. Yes, 
Absolutely. And, and that's, in my opinion, that should never be happening, first off. When I, um, I signed with Mannequin Models and Talent, I think in 2013, and I became their lead director, actually. So I've been on both sides of the camera, both sides of the opportunities. So I used to work with kids a lot. Mm. And the biggest mistake I would see is parents overstating a child's capacity. So when I read a resume, I would want a child to be able to perform a song or um, quote a line from a movie that they say there's a favorite movie and they practice all the time. Well, I've had children actually break down and start crying. And then I realized, oh my gosh, these parents are fluffing their resumes and it's not actually what's what's been going on with this child. So you just kind of go back to the beginning Mm. and walk them through every little step. Well, you know, a lot of times it's, it's the parent's dream. It is the parent's and dream. And not the child's time. dream. I mean, the child hasn't had a chance to formulate what their dream is because right. the parents are pushing their dreams on that child. Exactly. So you have this child that, oh, I love Top Gun. You don't even know what Top Gun exactly. is. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen it. <laughs> but a lot of times it's the parents that's formulated these dreams for the children so they're telling you oh they know how to sing they know how to dance they can do all this until they get in front of kelly and they don't know what kelly's talking about they have no (laughs) idea and i would skype with children and applicants from all over the world because mannequin is a global agency so um god i've i've learned to be softer with the children Mm -hmm. and and help them understand what the interview really is and what they're right. going to do. Right. And, and you have to, and you have to be softer with the parents too, because they're going to be the one that's at home working, working with them with the and training them. I love that Kelly, that you are working so close with the children as well. Yeah. And um, I know that you brought some media for us to see today uh, in some of your um, featured events. I'd like to talk a little bit about okay. them. We had earlier spoke about Miss Jet Set, and I know you brought a picture of your um, shoot from Miss Jet Set. Yeah. Okay. This picture here was one of the photo shoots from Miss Jet Set on the flight deck with the um, senior citizens that were former officers of the Navy. Oh, okay. So that's where that picture was taken at, and that was just one, and that's just one of the photo shoots for oh. Miss Jet Set. So where did you guys take this? Was this here in Mesa? Oh, that was actually in San Diego. Oh, okay. Right there in San Diego, California. Oh, okay. And that's from my website on Cameo. Oh, okay. So you can catch me at uh, cameo.com. Oh, okay. Kelly Dion. That photo is from the red carpet interview with Omar Gooding from his newest movie, Guns and Grams, and that will actually be posted with the Faces of uh, Faces of Rap Mothers oh, Network. Okay. And what's the name of the movie? Guns and Guns and Grams. Oh, okay. And that shot is from a series that I am currently filming, and I'll be flying out to LA tomorrow to wrap that series up, called The Secret Agent. Oh. Lovely. So I'm the seductress and the secret agent. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, this is Haval. This is the new company that's launching with cosmetic goods and leather bags. Oh, okay. We had a pre-launch in August. We have a full launch coming with luxury purveyors in uh, January of next year. Oh, okay. And where is this company based out of? It's based right here in Phoenix, actually. Oh. Our, our leather factory is right here in Phoenix and our cosmetic factory is in Phoenix. And we also have blending factories in Sweden. Wonderful, wonderful. So you're the spokesmodel for Havel? I am. I'm the spokesmodel face, uh, face of Havel and co-owner, actually. Okay. Did you bring um, one of your bags? From I Havel? did bring one of the bags. Um, this right here is the first bag that we've actually created. Um, there's a few things, changes and so forth that we need to make. So this is just, you know, rendition one. Sure. And then here's a sample of our passport wallet, actually, oh, okay. that um, we're going to be labeling here shortly. Oh, nice. So we have an entire line of leather goods for women and men. So it has bags, uh, folios, wallets, glass cases, passport wallets. And then the cosmetic bases, we're starting with cosmetic primers, which oh. will have um, SPF in it. Oh, okay. So we have the face, lips, lash, brow, and full body. So are they going to have colors for all skin tones? Absolutely. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. You know, but it's hard to find that because all brands don't have all skin tones. 
That's they true. say they do, but they don't. They, they don't really. I, mean, yeah. I can tell you I've gone through lots of makeup. <laughs> yeah, the color matches can be diff difficult for so many different people in general. The nice thing about our product with Avell is that it's going to be it's like a cosmetic moisturizer firmer all in one. Oh, okay. So it's a skin beautifier across the board. Oh. And then we'll have the tinted versions as well. Oh. I love the tinted versions. Yeah, That's because one of my favorites right there. It's a little there. lighter on the skin, but um, it still has beautiful color. Right. And I you have such beautiful skin anyway. Thank you. It's just, you know, a light anything. You're gonna yeah, go and out. you know, when you just want to go out on, to the grocery store, you want to put a little something on. Right. The tinted moisturizer yeah. is always nice. So um, I want to talk about some of your new projects that's coming out. Okay. Um, let's first talk about the one, um, um, the, the Rat Moms. Faces of Rat Moms. Faces of Rat Moms. Tell us about that project. Um, Faces of Rat Moms has, was actually started many years ago by a woman by the name of Candy Struthers DeVore. And when she started the founded Faces of Rat Mothers program, it was originally just uh, with the, the different books featuring different people, you know, different friends and and uh, entertainers in the industry. Mm. Then she's expanded to like a reality show. Oh, okay. Now she has her own network wow. on Roku as well. So um, she's asked me if I would be a part of that platform. So she's given me a platform on her station. Oh, okay. So it's eventually we'll you know, get really forward with that, but we're starting with the red carpet interviews. Okay, yeah. so as Faces of the Rap Mom, how did that come about, I mean, are you How a, did I get involved? Are you in a rap mom? <laughs> you know, it's it's a kind of a funny name. It's actually not um, not just rap moms. It was just you know her focus in the entertainment and orig entertainment industry originally, and she has branched out to basically bridge a gap in the community oh. that everyone can work together. We can all be functional. We can sure. all have a great time, and it is a sisterhood of friendship like nothing I've ever seen. Lovely. I mean, I see these women work together, support each other, love each other, lift each other up. And there's really no end to the love and support um, in this group of women. And that's the way it should be. That is the way it should that's be. That's the way it should be. And then you had another project you were just speaking about. Um, the, um, I don't forgot the name that quick, Miss Kelly. The name <laughs> of the film that you're working on right now. The series the that you're working Secret on. Secret Agent. Yes, yeah, Secret Agents. Tell us about that role. Um, I'm a seductress, basically. It's a Bond-type series. So I'm a seductress <laughs> in the film. And it's a, a four-part series where the um the main star actually is he's pretty pretty he's just like mr bond really. <laughs> is that yeah. fun it is it's a lot of fun um, it's a lot of fun to work with and the nice thing about it is it is both spanish and english oh okay so there's about half of it that's in spanish which will have subtitles in english and oh. vice versa do you speak spanish very little very little poquito poquito <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. And you have one other project you're working on, right? Or you're finishing up? Um, I'm wrapping up this one tomorrow, which um, will be the, that one. Then uh, we'll see what's coming down the pipeline from that point forward. But working on, you know, the manufacturing with Haval and, mm -hmm. and getting that launched. And you also have your own brand and um, your own, you have a podcast or something that you're working on as well? I am. I am working on my own podcast for... Uh, Faces of Rap Mothers. I'll also have my own platform on Noble Goldman. Oh. So there's a, a couple new platforms that are coming forward. I uh -huh. just, you know, I'm in the pre-launch stage right now. Sure, sure. So besides those things that are in a pre-launch, where would one find Kelly? What is if they wanted to work with Kelly? Uh, the best place to find me is on Facebook. It's just Kelly C. Dion on Facebook. Um, Instagram at Kelly underscore Dion. Okay. And a cameo, of course, doing the you know different videos for birthdays and parties and whatnot. Oh, so you can now tell me, me about that one. The cameo is is a site where you can be booked to do birthday videos or chat calls, or they just call in and, and request a, a birthday video. Oh, okay. Or a call, or if somebody wants to do a um, a personal video where you just you're just online with them talking, wishing so, them a happy birthday so what, or a happy anniversary, or so they're they're calling you. And through 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 the cameo through site, the cameo there's a lot site. of different um, different celebrities that are on cameo. Okay, so it just depends on you. You could go to cameo.com and you'll find a number of individuals okay. there. So. so if they want, if someone wanted Kelly to wish them a happy birthday, right? They wanted me to wish them happy birthday. I would just do a film, like you know, a little quick snapshot oh, film, okay. wish them a happy birthday. Or if it's live, it's you know a different booking. Maybe Kathy all... Blaze from Desert with Day should start doing some birthday wishes. 
do it, do it. it you know, it's, it's a lot of fun. So, you know, you, you, never, you never know who's going to pop in and request right. a video. And, and of course, you know, it's appropriate. It's nothing that that's, you know, it's, it's not only fans or anything that like that. But, oh, that is um, interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of like, uh, I think Drew Brees is on there doing videos. Really? Uh, oh. There's a number of different celebrities that are on there doing different videos so kelly are you with an agent or are you independent currently i'm independent okay okay so being an independent model and spokesmodel you i mean you're not just a model you're an actress also actress spokesmodel presenter and, and i want to go back because um we, we're talking to these women that are inspired aspiring to be the next kelly Okay, so they have to think about how to um, set their rates for their business. Right. There's a lot that you have to think about if yes. you're planning on being independent. There is. So when, if somebody is new to the industry and they basically have to go by a rate sheet mm -hmm. and determine where they're really at in that sheet. So mm -hmm. you have your, your experienced models, your unexperienced um, you have your SAG rates, your non-SAG right. rates. So you just kind of have to know where you fit in that grid and know your uh -huh. worth, know your value. Um, most models and new actors in the industry will come across a TFP or a trade for print video. Right. And it's like, wait a minute. That's okay if it serves your purpose, uh -huh. if it adds value to your own portfolio or to your own video reel. If right. it does not, then don't do it. Uh -huh. You know, Make sure you get paid. Yeah. And, and, you know, starting out, there will be times when you're not going to get right, right. You're going to need to build that portfolio. And Correct. you're going to need to build that video reel. Do some shorts. Do whatever. And do your monologues. And that's important to I, know right there. Absolutely. And I cannot emphasize enough how important a monologue is when you are starting. Right. Because, you know, the best thing to do is pick a role that is a natural flow for you. Mm -hmm. Pick something that's maybe a little more emotional. And then pick something serious. So that you can pick all different, you know, avenues and emotional abilities right on that camera right you were very helpful today i enjoyed speaking with you today and, and i love when i have women on here that's able to support and share themselves with other women because you never know who's out there that's right. been wanting to do what you're doing but as you stated earlier didn't have the confidence to do it yeah and it's you know it's if you can help anyone along the way and, and, and prevent them from stumbling or falling or being lured into something that's really not in their best right. interest, then it's that just speaks volumes to be able to help somebody and guide their life. I totally agree. Thank you for joining us here today. It was such a pleasure to have Likewise, you. Likewise, thank you for having me. And we look forward to seeing what else you have coming down the pike, Chip. We got a lot coming, so. <laughs> and thank you for joining us today at Desert Wood Days, and we will catch you next time. Thank you.